This is a hands-on demo for the various elevation pieces found in the Dungeon of Doom. So, the first thing we're going to find is that all the elevation pieces are a consistent height. So they are the height of one wall minus the floor. So if you stack them on a floor, the exact same height as a wall. If you put them on a wall piece, they'll go right up to the top. Everything's the same consistent height. So our first piece we've got is the elevation block. Two by two, big beefy piece. You can use this thing everywhere. It's the building block of almost any elevation. You throw a bunch of these down and already you have a dynamic encounter. Things are getting interesting. Uh, these things, you can never have enough of these. They're useful for everything. Then we have the little cousin of that. It's this little one by one elevation pillar. Uh, so this has the same function, it's the same height. So you can use it for suspending some sort of elevation piece out. You can use two of them and an arch to make a cool doorway. Uh, they also make really good decorative pieces if you want to put some pillars in a room. They look like nice decorative pillars. Uh, if you're going the decorative pillar route, these have pole accessory holes in the top. So you can decorate them. We have like, this is the uh, pedestal platform you use if you wanted to, to decorate with a statue or put a mini up there or whatnot. You can use some of the older decorative bits. Like we have, these are skeletons, screaming skeletons from the Necromancer theme pack from the castle builder system or the gargoyles also from the Castle Builder series. You can decorate up these pillars nicely. These things are very handy. Lots of uses for them. Then we've got this elevation arch. This thing is four inches long, same height as everything. It's one inch wide. Uh, it's really good for making little bridges. You can use a ramp to get up, ramp to get down. It's also really nifty if you were, let's say you're doing a build in the sewers and you want a way to get over your sluices, pop that right over some of your sluices for finally a way to get across in the sewers. The arch goes nicely over the back of the bridge piece. Leading up to the arch, we have the ramp. This thing is also four inches long, one inch wide really good for making little bridges and the like. You stack two of them next to each other to two inches wide. Could play very nicely with a stone bridge from the castle builder system. Uh, then we have the grand stairs. These things have a big four inch footprint. Uh, four inch footprint. They go the same height. They work really nicely in a pair with an elevation block in between. Uh, you can twist them going opposite directions to make some sort of cool twisting thing. There's a lot of neat possibilities with these stairs. And then we have the sort of centerpiece of all the elevation the bridge. So this thing is big, it's beefy, it's four inches wide, six inches long, it's got the same height as everything else. Uh, it sits really nicely together. If you want to extend them, put one of these in the middle. This is the elevation, the uh, bridge pedestal. If you want to get extra big, Put two of them. Put two pedestals in the middle. Uh, there's lots of options for you. You could, you could put the arch in the middle, like such. You could just put elevation block in the middle. Extra long, you could do double arches, I like. Tons of different ways you can skin that cat. These will also have two pieces of metal and a hole, so they'll be compatible with the 
castle dungeon extension pieces, castle bridge extension pieces, two metal in there and the like, so you can use that to extend between them. I wish I had one of those on hand. Uh, best of all, if you want to decorate them up, we've got whole accessory holes here, so you can just put it like that if you want to make. You can quickly change the character of the bridge enormously by putting in various pole accessories. Uh, gives it a lot of flavor and gives you much more reusability for the same pieces. Love this piece. We're going to use it a lot. Then, not an official elevation piece, but it's in the family. This is the boulder ramp. We have It's essentially the same height as the elevation blocks but it's got this nice gentle sweeping ramp and it will have a little trigger in here. So you could also use that as a sort of a ramp piece or you could use it as a transition down for your sewer sluices. You can do something crazy with your stairs. There's lots of options. This thing. And we also have these big ancient pillars. These things and these, of course, come in jade and limited edition marble. Let's throw those on here for fun. So these happen to be exactly the height of two elevation blocks and a floor. So this means you can stack right up like such. You could have a floor on. Yeah, you can bounce something like that. There's a lot of, if you're going double height, uh, those pillars are going to be super helpful for you. Give you a lot of options. Plus, they just look good in various rooms, make everything grand. You can topple it over, make a barricade. Uh, also, speaking of pillars, we have these little corner post pillars. So these things are the same height as everything else. Uh, and they have a little city builder style peg in there. And what that lets you do is you can peg them into the bottom of our four inch floors and our eight inch floors. We'll take these and it lets you elevate that floor up. So now that's the exact same height. Uh, it lets you do some quick and easy elevation or it could be just an open platform inside a room. A lot of neat things you can do with that. You could also use the same pillars. You can put them in one of your city builder floors. So you could put these, peg these things right into city builder floor, have some sort of decorative thing. Maybe you want to make an outdoor shrine, something. A lot of options there. And finally, while we're talking about elevation, you can use our terrain trays for elevation. So we have these, our four by eight terrain trays. If you want, you can quickly put down some elevation blocks, throw this thing on, and you can start building a second story up above. Players get underneath, you can fly it out and reveal what's under there. Um, you can cantilever stuff out if you want. Gives you uh, some other ways to build upwards. And not officially elevation, but the same height. These are the uh, pillars with the twisted snakes built in from the Forsaken Temple line. These will actually have more snake detail on there. These are early prototypes. So these things are conveniently the exact same height as the elevation, so you can do all sorts of elevation options with them and keep everything at the same height. A lot of possibilities in there. So all in all, there's an enormous wealth of possibilities of things you can do with these various elevation pieces. Maybe you want to make this thing. And what's fun about these is they really take advantage of the 3D nature of 3D terrain. And you can do some really interesting stuff with line of sight and dynamic battles 
and the like by building up and letting your players go up and down and around and have very varied and exciting encounters. So that's it for Elevation.